Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video will gonna discuss thread safe singleton and double check locking. Okay, so in this video we'll focus on only thread safety part and what is double check locking. Okay, so in most of the interview uh, people will ask singleton design pattern and once you have written that singleton design pattern or explain that singleton design pattern then the next question will be how you can make the singleton design pattern as a thread safe okay so in this video we're gonna discuss that thread safety part of that singleton design pattern okay so already i have uploaded a video uh, that entire singleton design pattern why what and where we can use all these details i will uh, paste the video link in the description section you can watch that video as well okay so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side if you'll see here this is my channel and here you can find a lot of other videos like uh, singleton design button i told already i have uploaded a video you can uh, go through this one okay and there are a lot of other videos as well uh, microservice git and a lot of logical questions which will be very helpful for uh, cracking interview questions okay so let's jump into today's uh, discussion uh, that is a uh, thread safety in singleton design pattern with double check locking okay so uh, if you'll see here already i have uh, written that uh, singleton design pattern code uh, where i have taken a class as a date util uh, let me quickly explain whatever i have done here so uh, date util is a class which is a utility class for which we will make this utility class as a singleton for that one we will make that constructor as a private so that no one can access this class outside or no one can create the object outside so how we can get a object so for that one i have take a i have take a uh, taken a uh, public static uh, public static method uh, I am taking this method as a static so that without object creation by class name we can call this method and uh, when we'll call this method inside this method I have a logic so first I am checking if the instance is null so I have taken this class uh, class variable here date util again instance uh, so inside this method I am checking if instance is null then create that object and uh, outside of the if return that uh, object first time uh, if there will be no instance it will create a object and then after if uh, condition satisfied and if block done then in line number 14 it will return that instance second time whenever we will call get instance as already instance is already there so this if condition will not satisfy and line number 14 it will return the existing instance okay hope you got it now let's see how we can make this code for multi-threaded environment suppose two threads are there and they are trying to create a object or they are calling this uh, get instance uh, method so that time it may uh, it may because two threads independently and parallelly they will run right so uh, it may create two instances for example while accessing a, a a thread get instance method and it's checking instance is equal to equal to null that is fine for him but again another thread came and before before it's creating the thread it's created this object so one thread check this if condition right so one thread entered the entered this if condition for that thread that time no object has created okay so one thread entered in this line number 12 okay so another thread already entered again to this line number 11 okay so that time also still the instance is null because it's not yet created okay so there is a chance that multiple while multiple threads trying to create the object it may create multiple instances okay so how to avoid that one so we know in multi-threading so how we can make a how we can make a method that it should, it should be accessible by only one thread pretty simple right so we can uh, make that method as a synchronized right 
so what we can do here we can make the method as a synchronize for example synchronize our job is done this is thread safe so pretty simple whenever interviewer will ask how we can make a singleton design pattern or singleton class as a thread safe simple just make the method as a synchronized method that public static method whatever the public static method will be there we can make the method as a synchronized method okay so it will be thread safe good now let's see what is double checking mechanism this is one way how we can make a uh, how we can make a thread safe uh, not thread safe the singleton class as a uh, thread safe now let's see the other way how we can make a uh, make that class as a sing uh, thread safe and what is double checking mechanism that and also we'll gonna discuss right so so here the entire uh, entire method will be uh, blocked by the thread or taken by the thread okay so no other thread can enter to this enter to this uh, method okay so there is other way that is synchronized block okay which will uh, which will uh, which will block a particular a particular lines of code okay it will block from the thread a particular lines of code so particular lines of code only not it will not accessible by multiple threads only one thread can access at a time in synchronized method the entire method okay so no two threads can enter at the same time to this method okay but in synchronized block only that particular block okay so for example here we do have uh, some lines of code okay lines of code so here some lines of code is the line number 11 12 13 okay let me apply synchronized block here let me remove this one and if instance is double equal to null You want to relax insert dot one will do here and what will do synchronize block will do synchronize this class so this is a synchronize block. Okay, one more control alt l okay let me explain you what i have done here then later i will come to this part okay so this is double checking mechanism in double checking mechanism what we are doing here first we are checking if instance is null if it is null then we are entering into this synchronized block synchronized block means it will this particular lines of code okay so inside this block whatever the logic will be there inside this block this will be accessible by only one thread at a time okay so this lines of code line number 16 and 17 okay so whatever that code is there inside this inside this synchronized block so line number 16 17 18 whatever so this will be accessible by only one thread at a time okay so this is the double checking mechanism so what we are doing here so if instance is null then we are entering into the synchronized block so again we are checking instance is null suppose two threads are there if one thread is already entering to this one so we are again making sure the instance is null okay then if instance is null we are creating this object right 
so this is double checking mechanism okay with synchronized block so hope you got that so synchronized block means only that particular lines of code will be blocked by i mean only that particular lines of code will be executed by only one thread but suppose some lines are there in line number 11 12 and 13 so that time other threads can also access two threads can parallelly run this line number 11 12 and 13 and up to 14 also but whenever the synchronized block will come into picture so here only one thread will enter then once that thread will be completed is uh, job then another thread will enter to this particular block okay so here this is known as double checking mechanism because we are we are checking two times this instance if it is null or not null okay so hope you got a crystal clear picture that what is double checking mechanism and how we can make a class as a how we can make a uh, how we can make a singleton design a singleton class as a thread safety this is most common interview question whether you are a refresher or uh, or experienced you should have a clear understanding uh, this one okay so uh, if you have any uh, if you have any other doubts let me know in the comment section definitely uh, i will i will have uh, your uh, answers in the comment section okay uh, if you want me to upload any other videos as well let me know in the comment section so that uh, definitely i will try to upload those videos as well okay so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel